on the second and final day of the U.S. president's state visit to Hanoi. Vietnam's Prime Minister Pham Minh Chin said the sky's the limit for the newly upgraded ties between the countries. Joe Biden shared his optimism about what can be achieved together. Together, uh, we must go further and other countries in the region must benefit as well because our partnership is about so much more than innovation and investments. It's about people. It's about our people. A roundtable meeting brought together American and Vietnamese business leaders among the trade deal announcements, a $7.8 billion deal for Vietnam Airlines to buy Boeing 737 MAX airliners, and plans by the U.S. semiconductor firm Amcor Technology to start factory operations in northern Vietnam next month. Agreements were also made for future cooperation on semiconductor technology, cloud computing and artificial intelligence. So we're strengthening our supply chains, including through a new semiconductor memorandum of cooperation that we signed today. Vietnam is seeking to enhance its advanced manufacturing capabilities. And in the face of long-running tensions with Beijing, U.S. companies are looking to diversify supply chains away from Chinese suppliers. President Biden's state visit has concluded with Washington achieving its aim of formally bolstering ties with Hanoi. That's part of a broader strategy of portraying the U.S. as a reliable and committed partner in Southeast Asia. The White House said it will help to build Vietnamese capacity to fight regional and international crime, including illegal fishing. Chinese state media disparaged the visit as exploitative and not in line with Vietnam's interests. Before heading homeward to Alaska, Biden said the countries have reached a new stage in their relationship, which will provide stability and opportunities for the region. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Hanoi. Well, still ahead here on Al Jazeera, a 